Metro rider who got into a confrontation with an LAPD sergeant is now suing. A viral video appeared to show her refusing to take her foot off a seat. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez is live in Boyle Heights with what the rider had to say. Dave? Well, one last Friday we heard from the woman who got involved who didn't even know this woman who was kicked off the train. But today it was the woman who actually, well, she doesn't think she started it. Let's just say she is at the focal point of this confrontation. A video that has been seen by millions around the world, and people are still talking about it. Hey. You no, you're not. I paid to be on this train. It is cell phone video that has had more than 13 million views all over the world. 18 year old Bethany Nava being dragged off the red line on the metro. And today, she talked. I reacted how I did out of fear and confusion. I've never, I've never been in trouble with the law before. This is fair that you took me off the train because I had my foot there because I was comfortable like that. And I put my foot on my right thigh like so and I guess it looked like it was still on the seat. Flanked between her lawyer and her mother, she admitted that she did have her foot on the back of the seat in front of her for a brief time. And when the LAPD officer told her to put it down, she did. And that's when she said she put her foot on her thigh. And I feel that I was targeted for no reason. I need to mention that there are other people on the train that were eating and drinking. Which is a violation of the Metro's code of conduct. Miss Nava is an aspiring actress. This is not for publicity. This is not for my career because if anything, this is hurting my career. It's not helping me. Her right arm is heavily bandaged because she said she was injured when the officer pulled her off the train. And she said she's suing an unspecified amount of money because she wants justice. I always make sure that not one snip or one uh, perspective of video coverage is the complete story. We have to let the process uh, take its uh, due course, which it will do, but it's always a mistake to if you weren't there and don't have all the information to comment on it. I think we're on a good path going forward right now uh, with meetings with uh, LAPD, and I'm satisfied with what they're doing. I feel like, I feel like an apology would be fine too. That's all I want from him. Both the mayor and the CEO said it is far too early to even think about apologizing for anything right now. They want this investigation to play out. So now we've heard from the two women, the one who got involved as a complete stranger and the one who was at the focal point. The only one we haven't heard from now is the sergeant, the LAPD sergeant who made the arrest. And I was told today he's not talking. Back to the studio. All right, Dave, thank you.